part of the uh, video rendition of the book, The Intelligent Coach. And today we're going to speak to you about something that I regard as very important. Uh, it's something that changed uh, the life of a player, but it also changed the life of myself uh, as, as being part of it. This is a, uh, a happening of a player named Maurice Cheeks. Some of you may not have heard that name. He's a Hall of Fame player. Played a little bit maybe uh, before you're, you were no, you knew the names of the, the uh, NBA players that were getting started. He certainly was one of them. And uh, it all took place in a school that probably you've never heard of. But at the time, it was a Division I school. It's West Texas State University. Uh, it was in the Missouri Valley with, when Louisville was in it, Memphis, some of the top teams uh, in the country. Maurice was uh, in his junior year, finished his junior year. And we felt that he had a chance to get drafted. Uh, and that if he got drafted, he might have a chance to play uh, in the NBA. But one thing stood in his way in talking to the scouts that came and, and our own uh, uh, evaluation of him was that he could not make shots uh, from the perimeter. I'm not talking about three-point shots, I'm just talking about good jump shots within maybe 18 to 20 feet. He, his whole career up to this point was based on his ability to play and to run the team and also he was a remarkable uh, layup shooter. Now that doesn't, that sounds like uh, anybody would shoot layups, but it's not true. Not the kind of layups he was capable of, of making. So he, he had a nice scoring average, very high shooting percentage. But we knew that the medium range to outside shot would prevent him from probably getting a chance uh, to show how good he, he was. So at the, uh, we had uh, a uh, formality with that team that between your junior year and your senior year, you could come to us and uh, we would set up a summer plan for you so that you would have the best senior year that you could have. And we, it was not mandatory. Uh, in fact, they decided when they wanted to work, uh, what days, uh, there was no, no, nothing wrong if they didn't make a day or two days. Uh, it was up to them. Uh, it, we, would, I, we told them that we would always have a coach for them. Whenever if you call us at one o'clock in the morning, somebody will come and help you and, and work with you. Maurice came to me and uh, he knew also that he had a chance. Didn't talk about it but uh, in his heart, he knew he had a chance. So he came, we agreed, uh, he was to let me know uh, that I would do it if, one of the, if I couldn't, one of the assistants would. Uh, but I had no intention of missing uh, any of them. We started with, uh, the first segment was 29 straight days, Sunday, Saturdays, and only then there was a there was another uh, event in the gym that we used. Uh, so we we missed that one, and then we went thirty some days in a row uh, before the end of the summer. And he went home for a few a short time before uh, school started. I had run a drill with a player the summer before who had a similar problem. We worked on a drill that, uh, that actually was phenomenal how he changed his shot uh, and he became 
uh, a very, very good shooter from medium range, and uh, he raised himself from, uh, from a position that nobody knew him up to an all-conference player in the Missouri Valley Conference. He had to beat out a lot of good, good players to do that, all because of changing one thing. This is not a story, by the way, of people. Uh, and I will get to that in, in just a little bit, what, what happened with Maurice. Um, I, I, oh, we only worked on one drill, but there was a few other things that we did. But it was this drill. The drill, I will not show you, I will not tell you about it other than this. It was based on constant uh, raising yourself from one goal to the next. When one goal was reached, then you went to the next. And that goal was determined by the number of shots you made out of 15. Uh, but there were seven different uh, segments. Uh, it, w it wasn't a lot of, of shots, 105 jump shots and 70 uh, free throws. The, the, the trick was to uh, have the intensity on each shot. So we went through the summer that way and he continued to raise his goal and raise his goal. Finally, he became obsessed which most of the players I worked with did, became obsessed on making shots. There was no thought of anything else, just make shots. Uh, at the end of the, the summer, uh, I knew he had improved his shooting uh, dramatically. Uh, in fact, uh, in this drill, uh, 12, the number 12, which you probably don't understand, but very few players could get to that. In, in my career, with it, because I've ran it all over, uh, 12 is only for greatness. Three players have reached it. Maurice was one of them. So the summer was over, people started coming back, assistants coming were there, but were not involved in this drill, so they didn't see Maurice at all. And, uh, and finally, they did, and they came to me and said, what did you do with Maurice? His shot, he had a very awkward shot. Even the players razzed him about his form. Uh, now all of a sudden, he was shooting with what they thought was very good form. Uh, and I told, I told my assistants, I did nothing. I never talked to him about it. I never mentioned it to him. I, 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 did, I disregarded technique, which I always do, uh, completely. Uh, he was the, the impetus uh, for the change, and this is where it gets very important, and I want to explain it to you, because as a coach, it can make a huge difference in how you deal uh, with your players. Everybody was remarking about his change in form. And it was silly because we never really even talked about form. Uh, but eventually uh, I began to see, I did not notice it because I was there every day with him. I don't think Maurice noticed it. I'm, I've never asked him, but I'm, I'm sure if I did, I, I don't think he would, uh, uh, I, I don't think he even knew what was happening. To him. The importance of what I'm trying to tell you is this. Uh, what he did is he trained his mind simply by his intensity to reach goals. He was telling his mind, in effect, this is what I want to do. The mind then, after many times began to realize this is what he's trying to obtain and consequently began to make subtle adjustments and those adjustments were always based on natural 
uh, things that had to, uh, that would take place. So it was very unnoticeable to the shooter, to to the coach, and then to the people that uh, that saw him. But uh, it increased his ability and his opportunities uh, completely. It was a natural change, but all of us can train our mind the same way, the same way. This can be applied to anything in your life, whether it's basketball or golf or getting A's in class. Uh, this is uh, this will, it, you can use the same procedure and everything it applies to anything. A little bit later, we will get into this a lot more. Uh, the book, The Intelligent Coach, spends a lot of time on explaining uh, this phenomenon. And you should be uh, aware of it. Uh, it isn't the drill. It wasn't me. It wasn't uh, the circumstances. It was simply Maurice showing the mind, this is what I want. And it responded and showed him the way to get it. He went on and got drafted. Uh, he got drafted and by in his rookie year, he started every game. He went on to start him, one of uh, Philadelphia, won a, uh, a NBA championship with him, and he was a, a very important cog. And uh, two years ago, I was pleased to sit in the crowd and watch him being, being inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Probably the greatest compliment uh, a, a player can get. Uh, so I want you to think seriously about it because uh, it can change you. It changed me. It changed Maurice, by the way. Uh, his persona was one of being very mild, uh, not particularly ex aggressive mentally. But at the end of this drill, he became very strong mentally. His persona changed, became more aggressive. I found out later, much later, that along with working with me, he shot up to 200 shots every morning uh, with the same kind of uh, intensity. That's it for today. Uh, I want you to learn something every day. And I hope you don't take this lightly. It's your job, coaches, to help your players to do the right thing and not just what you see on TV or what you hear, but really something that is you've studied and worked out and can, and can then pass this on to the player. You make a lot of difference in their life and I think you will realize it's made di a difference in your life and in your coaching. Thank you and we'll see you uh, next time.